Yay. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to talk about how when you are not used to taking every thought captive and when you aren't really good at recognizing the cycle of anxiety when it's happening, I wanted to talk about how to stop it um, sooner rather than letting it go on for days or weeks or months. Um, this is a real problem that I used to have and now it's gotten to where almost always I can identify a cycle within a couple of hours, if not a couple of minutes. So, but I used to re be really bad at self-actualization and analyzing my thoughts and actions. So um, what I started to do was when I was first working on this, I would at the end of the day, do like a daily check-in with myself. And sometimes I would write it down if I was feeling like extra motivated. And then there were all the other times where I didn't. And I would say, okay, what went well today? And I would acknowledge what went well. You know, I got a lot of dishes done or today the baby nursed really well or I made my bed, whatever it was. The little accomplishments that made me feel like things went well. It doesn't matter what they are. Um, then I would acknowledge the things that I felt like were problems. Uh, drama with people, drama within myself, things that I felt guilt over, shame over, frustration over, anything that was negative. I would bring that up and go, okay, let's acknowledge what the root of these problems are. Do I have unreasonable expectations for others? Is this a boundaries problem? Is this something, um, a block of some kind that I need to work through? What is this? Am I triggered by something that happened to me in the past? Am I just anxious because I didn't get enough sleep? Whatever it is, you kind of have to go back to the roots and go, okay, this happened because, and I'm not saying that we should blame other people. I, I, she shouldn't have said that to me or I wouldn't be so anxious. This is not that kind of thing. Um, I am anxious because when my husband said that dinner tasted fine, that hurt my feelings because I felt unloved. Or um, whatever. Um, it's not a blame thing. It's not that, well, he shouldn't have said it was fine. He should have said it was great and amazing. Um, I felt like this. And so it's not necessarily something that I need to go talk to them about. Or my friend made an offhanded comment about how I haven't lost the baby weight after baby Abigail yet or whatever. And that hurts me because I feel insecure about my body. Okay, well that means we need to go through and deal with those, those kinds of issues. And you need to deal with the root of those, not with the other person necessarily. So when I stopped doing daily check-ins, then I started doing um, more frequent check-ins. These weren't necessarily as formal, like it was more of when I was dealing with negative issues, then I was checking in with myself. Like when I would start to feel physically anxious, I would get tension headaches, I would be clenching my jaws, my heart would be racing, or I would notice that I was doing some of the coping skills that have I've integrated into my day, like when I'm stressed, I start cleaning, um, or I start to numb out. So I wanna, I crave something like Netflix. I crave something like getting on my phone and scrolling through uh, my Facebook timeline just to kind of escape and get away. So when I start to notice the anxiety during the day, I stop and check in and go, okay, what is the issue here? What's the superficial issue? Well, I'm irritated. Okay, why are you irritated? I'm irritated because of X. Okay, well, why does that irritate you? And then you go deeper and deeper, and then sometimes just acknowledging, okay, well, I didn't get enough sleep. Okay, that's fine, I can deal with that. Or I'm really frustrated because I'm dealing with this core feeling, this doubt, this guilt, this shame. Sometimes just acknowledging it is enough to kind of move past it and make it less uncomfortable. Um, sometimes it's not, but just acknowledging it and knowing what the cause is can help you move forward. So the check-ins um, are first daily, and then I go to, I went to less frequently, where it was um, more when I, uh, my anxiety cues were triggered. So. And that's how you do that. Um, that's a really, really good skill. So I highly encourage it. If you're a daily journaler, that's a great way to do it. Or um, doing it on your phone. Um, I, sometimes if I'm overwhelmed, I still will actually take out my phone and like process into my, uh, like my notes app or something like that. And that's really helpful. So 
I hope this has been helpful to you and I hope you get a lot of value out of it and I'll see you next time. Bye.